Hi, everybody. I'm so sorry about my voice today. I've been filming all day and I'm losing my voice, but I did a Kerry Washington inspired makeup look today. So many of you have asked me on my Instagram to do makeup on a darker skin girl and I have the perfect model. Her name is Haleta and I actually met her at a yoga studio. She's one of my subscribers and I thought she's the perfect model to do this makeup look on. I hope that you like it and don't forget to leave me some nice comments and I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so I'm going to go right into applying your foundation. I already prepped your skin with a little bit of moisturizer. And I'm using this Bobbi Brown palette. I love this palette. It's great for darker skin tones. I'm using the foundation part, which is this side. And I'm using the two colors here, Warm Almond and Golden, for concealing. And I'm using the Espresso color, the dark color up here for the contour. And I put everything on a palette right here for me. So I'm going to be working out that palette right here. And going right into the concealer part. And I'm going to conceal. So with darker skin, I like to really um, highlight the skin and I like to really go for it. So I'm going to just go right underneath the eyes where it's a little bit lighter and highlight this whole area. And as you can see, she's darker right here and she's darker on the outside of her face. So I'm going to match that with the darker foundation, but right in here, I'm going to go lighter. I'm also going to bring that a little bit on the tip of your nose. And I'm also going to highlight this part a little bit. And just make sure to use really warm and golden colors. And then I'm going to go in with my darker shade, which is the Espresso shade right in here. And I'm going to contour with that color. So I'm going to bring it a little bit on the temple. And even right now, if it looks a little bit streaky and crazy, don't worry because we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to fix it all later. I'm also going to bring that a little bit on the hairline and a little bit right underneath here in the chin area. I'm going to use a different brush again for my concealer because I just messed it up a little bit. Bring that color right in here. I'm also going to bring it up here a little bit, almost like the little V. And then later on I go over with my foundation. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender, which is already damp. I'm going to blend those two colors together. All right, so we just put the Bobbi Brown Concealer underneath here, and I put a little bit of the Espresso just for contouring, and you can see it already like really brightens up the face. And now I'm going to go over with... I don't have the correct color for you, so I'm mixing 175 and 180 together. And I'm applying the foundation, just a really light layer of it all over your skin. And it's really important to choose the right foundation color, especially for darker skin, because you want to avoid like anything with pink undertones or white. Okay, so I'm almost done with foundation. I just applied a little bit more of this Smashbox concealer in medium dark because I just wanted this area to be a little bit more highlighted and I feel like it just did the trick so I did this off camera. Okay and now I'm going to go in with my NARS powder. This color is beautiful. It's called Valley and it's soft velvet loose powder and I'm using that on a Charlotte Tilbury brush. I'm just powdering kind of all over your face 
because you, you're I did use quite a lot of foundation and the foundation is quite creamy so I really want to just set it all right now with powder so we just powdered your face and I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil and I chose this Tom Ford color in Espresso 04 I'm just gonna go in with light strokes and this is a very natural makeup look, so I'm not going to overdraw the brows. I'm just going to correct them a little bit and fill in the gaps. This color is perfect for you. Moving on to the eye makeup, I'm going to make this a very simple eye makeup, but I'm going to layer it with two products. First a cream eyeshadow and then a powder eyeshadow. The first one is Cream Shadow by Dior, and the color is called Meteor. And it's this really beautiful golden shimmery color and I'm using a flat brush for that. I'm using this Dior brush here in number 21. And I I'm love cream shadows. You do? It's Me so much easier. I know, I love cream shadows too. They're so fun and easy to apply. Mm -hmm. They're great just by itself but they're also really great for layering because if you want a more intense look it will give you more intensity to your eye makeup. So I'm just putting that all over basically on the upper eyelid. I don't go up too far, just kind of like right in here. Okay, we just did this off camera because Helette had a little bit problems with so tearing up. <laughs> so, but anyways, we put the black pencil in the upper and lower inner rim. And you can see it just really gives a little bit of a smoke, but it's still very natural. I'm also gonna put the pencil close on the upper lash line just to intensify that lash line a little bit more but I'm not going to wing it out I'm just going to do it really close there and then I'm going to take a little bit of a brush like a little brush like this here by MAC and I'm just going to blend it in with the cream shadow and now I'm going to bring in a MAC shadow and this one is wood winged and I'm using my same Dior brush in 21 just to intensify the eye makeup just a little bit more. And I'm just putting that the same way that I put the cream shadow all over the eye. You might have to go in with your black pencil a little bit more because right now I'm just kind of like going all over. And now just to give it a little bit more definition on the outer corners, I'm using my Loric palette. You can use any brown shadow. I just have this handy right now. You don't need to buy this palette just to do this, but it's basically a darker espresso matte color. Just on the outer edges with my MAC 217. And I'm putting that color just a little bit right out here on the crease and on the outer corners just to give it a little bit more definition. And now I'm using my concealer from earlier, my Smashbox concealer on my concealer brush and I just want to brighten and highlight this area right here underneath the brows. I'm bringing that concealer right in here just to give a little bit of a highlight and you can see just gives a beautiful nice little matte highlight. And then you can use your fingers and just blend it in. So I did this off camera. I used my Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler and I used my Dior Iconic Mascara off camera. I did about two coats and I put one coat of mascara on the lower lashes. And I, I also want to show you, I did one more thing off camera. When you look in the camera, I used my Wood Winked by MAC and my MAC brush and I brought this color open up just like right in the inner V right here just to brighten that area a little bit more. It just really gives a really beautiful effect on your eyes. All right, so I'm gonna apply some corner lashes. These ones are by Ardell, the number 318. They're so easy to apply on yourself. You basically are just putting them on the outer corner and you're just placing them like that, open a little bit, and then I take my tweezer and I tuck them in and try to go as close as possible as you can to the lash line. So you don't see the band but I like to go in with one more coat of mascara after I apply so that way it just kind of blends everything together and it makes them look more natural so you just go over with a coat of mascara and then I'm also going in 
with a little bit of a eyeliner just to hide the band. So I'm using my Stila liquid pencil and I go really close to the lash line and kind of color over the band so you don't see any of that. And now I'm going to go in with this product by NARS called Gina. And there are two shades in there. I'm using the darker shade just to give you a little bit more of a contour. I'm bringing that contour out and I like that it's a powder. So I'm just going to like really emphasize what I did earlier with the espresso and I just go over that. I'm also going to do it on the other side. And then also a new temple and a new forehead. And a little bit of new chin area. And now I'm going to go in with a cream blush. This one here is by Kevin O'Croix and it's Noel Blood Roses. And I'm mixing those two colors together, but I'm mainly going to use the darker shade. And I'm going to do this with a very light touch just to get a little bit of a color on your cheek, just like right here on the apples. Open your eye a little bit. Like I'm bringing it right in here just to give you a little bit of a flush color. And now I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. The color is soft and gentle. And I'm just using that as a highlighter on my Charlotte Tilbury Powder Sculpting Brush. And I'm just bringing that right in here just to give you a nice little highlight. Beautiful. You can bring it also down your nose just a little bit. All right, so we're almost done. I'm just gonna do your lips really quickly. I have two products. The first one is a lipstick. I really love this color. This one was designed by CoverGirl for Queen Latifah, and it's like the perfect nude for dark skin. And the color is called Mocha Loca in a Q470. And this is what the color looks like. It looks pretty dark out of the tube, but when I put this on your lips, it's just like the perfect perfect nude and I'm putting it directly out of the tube like that perfect and I'm not using a lip line or anything like that I'm just making the lips very effortless very natural again I'm using my Chantecai lip gloss it's a light pink like gold color. It's a little bit of iridescence and it just picks up the light really beautiful. We're putting that all over and go like that. And then I use my hand and I just pat it in. And that is the finished makeup look for you. You look gorgeous. Hey.